Men who took penis enlargement pills. Did they work? If not what happened? I tried a brand once. Because it also advertised increased pleasure before sex. Worked like a generic Viagra. Increased blood flow. Which slightly increased size and feeling. A couple of years down the road. A friend asked me for advice on anything that could help him for a sexual encounter with a girl he had been pursuing for some time. I told him of the product, which at the time could be bought at any convenience store. The package came with two pills. I told him I took one. But since he was a bigger guy, he might start with one and think about taking two. Fast forward to the encounter. He and the girl got to drinking and he popped the pills as things were getting hot. He said he had to leave her house because he started feeling cold sweats, seeing traces, and extreme nausea. He said he projectile vomited once he walked out her door, again as he sat in his car, and then once more as he made it to the first intersection. I told him to think about taking two pills. He misunderstood and took two packages. Long story short, he got all the side effects and could not sleep face down for about a day. If they worked. They'd be famous, and every guy would be taking them. Yes that true, but I'm more curious about the aftermath. Like if they gave parasites, or caused the pages, to not be able to have an erection anymore. Works great. My penis typed this on his lunch break. Why do you say his? Apostrophe. What gender is your penis? If you want to know the side effects of any drug, look up every ingredient on drugs. Com. They list what they do and what the side effects are. If they don't publish the ingredients by name, don't take it. All natural is not an ingredient name. Wikipedia can also help with understanding what each ingredient does, how it does it, and whether it's effective. I wish this had a serious tag. Yeah it would result in no answers or just lies as they don't work and are extremely unhealthy. While they obviously don't work, what harmful effects do they have? Talk to your doctor first, please. The crap that is sold to increase size can have some negative side effects. If they actually worked, you wouldn't have so many men worrying about their size. Unless you have a macro penis. Don't worry about it. Focus on being a better lover rather than a bigger lover. And if they actually worked they would be in Walmart in aisle 1 a part of a billion dollar industry. No. Because they don't want you to know about it. One of the only true lessons in life. If it sounds too good to be true, it is a lie. Pills that make your penis bigger. That sounds too good to be true. Your him will make your penis bigger, but your erection will remain the same size. It'll also give you horrific anxiety. Ever have a panic boner? Cause that's what you'll get. I took one once. It was right after my day at the nude beach. Seeing old ass wrinkled men with giant dungs was rather emasculating. Especially since my ex couldn't take her eyes off them. So I bought some online. It said it could take up to 6 weeks to work so I waited. And sure enough slowly and surely it grew by 2 inches. The girth increased too. By jove. I was elated. My sex life immediately improved. And I got new confidence and vigor and that bled into every part of my life making everything that much better. But what those pills never advertised were the side effects. It never stopped growing. And what's more with each passing day the rate of growth accelerated. After a month. It was so big my ex stopped sleeping with me claiming it was so big. Now it was actually painful. After 2 months I couldn't wear shorts anymore. Because if I wasn't careful the tip would pop out from under them. By month 3. I started to wear ankle length loin cloths cause I couldn't fit into pants anymore. By this time I also started to black out every time I got an erection. Since so much blood flowed into it my brain was momentarily starved of oxygen. By month 6 it was as long as my leg and about half as thick. I stopped getting erections altogether at this point. It was just impossible and the muscles of my groin could no longer support the weight of my phallus. A year in and it was trailing behind me like a tail. I started to tie it around my waist like a belt. Urinating was chore. It was 6 feet long and half a foot thick. I was floored. I was too embarrassed to see a doctor, so I isolated at home. Fast forward 5 years. It had grown over 10 kilometers in length and as thick as an adult male African elephant. By this point the world noticed. Doctors offered to amputate, but my fragile male ego wouldn't allow it. Life as I knew it was over. 
By year 25th I needed the space of a small town all to myself, and it coiled around, until it formed a decent sized pulsating penis pyramid. This is where the first signs of trouble came in. One layer slipped off one night, and crushed a car full of frat boys who had come too close, to marvel at my member. Three people died. One of them was from another country, so it caused a diplomatic row, and threatened to escalate. There were protests to have it cut off, but the courts deemed it against my constitutional rights to have a forceful medical procedure. And so for the next decade, I lived like this till it soon became the size of a mountain, and became the nesting ground for an endangered species of foul-mouthed parrots. It's been 25 years now. It has grown so big it is starting to compress the Earth's crust. NASA scientists predict that in about 15 more years it will grow big enough to heat up the center of the massive coiled dick and very soon all that heat and pressure will eventually cause fusion to happen at its core. At this point Earth will get consumed in fire as my massive manhood becomes a bright burning star. They say in about 100 years it will surpass the sun itself. And very soon after that collapse into a black hole taking the Earth the sun and the entire solar system with it. All of this, because I was jealous of the wrinkled appendages hanging from the bodies of old men. Kids, do not take those penis enlargement pills. They might just end the world. Reddit gets creative when there is a penis involved. This is the only true reply. I'm interested in this myself, and I don't know how to pin it for myself. I don't think a pin will work. You'll just have to let the medicine wear off. Mayo. Someone had to do it. My dick doubled in size and I grew a third testicle. Six tenths. Wouldn't necessarily recommend. I notice you didn't specify the location of this third testicle. Well first things first. Happy cake day. Secondly, you don't just come out and ask a question like that. How did your mother bring you up? If you must know it's between the other two. I looked like a more disgusting version of that woman from Total Recall. Do you wish you had three hands? An XG slash F tricked me into taking some ones. It was horrible. She told me they were just Adderall. Which I'd had plenty of before. No. She gave me ducking truck stop boner pills. I took them when we were on our way to Walmart to get groceries. About 20 minutes later. I was frantically searching for something in the bargain DVD bin with actual streams of sweat pouring off of me. This was years ago. No covered worries. It was just regular gross back then. Close bracket. Then. I got ravenously hungry. We stopped at a Burger King. And I ate all of the extremely fresh food. As soon as we got it. Meaning I burned the shit out of my mouth. And had the fuzzy tongue feeling for a week afterwards. I smashed like $15 worth of Burger King in probably 2 minutes. She told me later that night. And I was pissed. But at the same time. We were both on drugs anyways. And I was feeling better by then. So I found it kind of funny. She didn't really mean it as a prank. It was more of an experiment. Because my libido sucked compared to hers. I fantasized about us doing stuff all the time. But my body didn't agree when it mattered. And it was seriously tough to get into the mood. We had a lot of one sided sex for both sides. One would be into it. The other is just going through the motions. Because we've got to go to work in an hour. So yeah. Please don't take gas station penis pills. They are not fun. I. She gave you pills and told you they were something else. So you'd take them. That's a pretty shitty and ducked up thing to do to someone. NGL. I agree. About a year after I broke up with her. She called me from a county jail asking for bail money. I said no. She ended up going to jail for 7 felonies. Because she started dealing drugs she stole from her disabled dad's legitimate prescriptions. Plus identity theft. Why is this question never tagged with serious replies only? Be the change you want to see in the world. Reddit. I typed this comment hands free. Just saying. No but I've taken some of those gas station pills before. And you can duck for hours. My penis grew an additional penis. Penis. Remember near pets where your pet could have a pet? And it was called a pet pet? Penis penis. What about the pet pet's pet? The pet pet pet. Penis penis penis. I know someone who did. His dick got so big. That he didn't have enough skin. To cover it so it split open. I really want people. To be gullible enough to believe this. Second and story. But a fun one. I was. 
Once upon a time, a correctional officer, I worked in high security, where a great many men with all sorts of wild stories were housed, their showers were inside of their cells, inevitably, during security rounds and such, sometimes they'd be showering, and many of them saw no reason to be modest, one such guy was in a cell close to my desk, he was sociable, and during those 12 hour shifts, provided a lot of entertainment by simply talking shit to everyone else on the building, well, I passed this guy doing rounds and he happened to be showering, and I saw it, I was caught highly off guard, not because of seeing a penis, but because of how absolutely monstrous it was, hung nearly to his knee, about as big around as a soda, can, he covered as I walked by, but his hands didn't have enough real estate to cover it completely, so later, I had to ask, he laughed and explained, that it's absolutely terrible, it's too big to do anything with, he doesn't have enough blood in his body for it to even get hard anymore, and even if it did, women can't make much use of it, so naturally, I asked how, he explained that he had the idea to experiment with Viagra at a party one night, was great for a bit, but he eventually realized, that he took too much, by the time it left his system he had gone from average to uselessly gigantic, on a separate occasion, our inmate janitor for the evening was cleaning the wing, now, the janitors are essential staff for officers and inmates alike, they usually run a side hustle, while cleaning to move items between cells, for a small fee, emperor tatankok had asked this inmate, to transport something for him, and the, janitor declined, and immediately started talking shit, after which things were quiet for a few hours, now, here's a detail about the cell doors, there's a window that sits at viewing height, similar to school classroom doors, however, unlike those doors, these cell doors have what's called a bean slot, designed to send trays of food through for meals, which have a special hatch, that requires a special tool, to unlock most of the time, some inmates, however, had a faulty hatch, that could be kicked open with enough force, Thor was one such inmate, he was kind enough to warn me beforehand, and asked to give him just a few minutes with the slot open, out of curiosity, I agreed, he kicks it down, and calls the janitor over, promising payment for a sensitive delivery, out of reflex, the janitor leans down, to face level with the slot, far closer than advised, and was promptly slapped across the face with a purple headed meat log, every inmate in every cell with an eye shot saw, that janitor never worked that wing again, yeah this is the funniest shit I've read all day, I used to work in a county jail myself a while back so I'm just sitting here laughing my ass off. BF uses them once in a great while just for funces, like the ones you would find at an adult toy store. They work but it's not going to double in size or anything, I'd be dead if that were true to lol. They not only give him a boost in size, but also shorten his refractory time. If you're going to take them. Make sure you drink plenty of water or you can get a severe migraine the next day or two. And don't take them more than once every couple weeks, we've only used them maybe a few times a year. If the pills actually increase his size he probably has quite bad egg. He should try to improve it, and he will have that size naturally. It doesn't increase super drastically, like I said. He doesn't need them. It's just a once in a while thing, if we have a weekend where we're in a planning on doing anything. It more improves his refractory time if anything else. Check the film Unhung Hero. That guy's problem wasn't that he had a small dick. It's that he was a dick. Bob went to prison for a reason. And Bob's your uncle. And this uncle ducks. I thought they were suppositories and just got a fat ass. These comments are what happens without a serious tag. I'm extremely sorry about that I wasn't expecting this to blow up, and I also forgot that serious tags were a thing. They got me a small part in the second season of The Boys. So, yeah, you better clean out all that cheese from your uncircumcised member. Dick exploded on impact. Who cares how big it is? If I still not in 7 seconds, oof can I get an F in the chat? Girl here, you don't need to worry about this. I wish this was true. Well I can tell you, that girls are afraid of it being way too large. Being stretched out is not fun. Neither is having your cervix bruised. Look at the size of a tampon, before you think you are too small. We need to know. Lol. 
I want there to be a for science in this post. I'm on Silas. It is ducking awesome. No noticeable impact in any way. Go see it up however you want. Trebek. What matters is. Does it work? Will it really mighty my penis? Man. Exclamation mark. Question mark. Apostrophe. They work. And I'll just put it like this. I'm not using my fingers to type this. Slash s. They sometimes work, because they illegally contain sildenafil. They make your penis bigger, by giving you an erection. They did work however I cannot get an erection at all now without Viagra. Edit, I'm just ducking with you fellas I've never taken those things they don't work come on now. The only thing they do, is take your money and that's about it. Not me, but my grandfather. After serving as a mechanic in the Pacific Theater. He stayed behind in Japan to help rebuild. While there, he was offered a pill to bake his member larger. Despite already being well endowed, he thought why not. He was amused to learn it worked. His junk slowly grew and grew. At first he was proud, then embarrassed, then concerned. On June 14, 1946, only a year back from fighting, he learned why you don't take dick pills. His penis has grown so large and misshapen and discolored. He had to go to the hospital. They amputated a 10 pound section. Fortunately. For him. Lithev went back to normal. That 10 pound section continued to grow. Doctors should have destroyed it. But the scientific interest we too strong. It kept growing. Until it reached 6 feet 3 and 243 pounds. Taking over an entire country. My granddad takes a quarter of a Viagra each day. Not to get him hard. But so his dick pokes out just enough. So he doesn't piss on his slippers. Of course they didn't ducking work. They're a scam. Nothing happens except a slight lightening of some mugs wallet. Seriously guys. The only way to increase the size of your penis is through painful enhancement surgery. The lads seen on porn sites play on your envy of porn stars. Understand that while size does matter same goes for women. Some. Women have smaller vaginas. Where others have a much roomier garage. Just find your match. I took N. And it made the rest of me smaller. I used to be 6 feet tall. I'm now 4 FT9. My penis definitely looks bigger in comparison to the rest of my body now. So can definitely recommend. It's obvious from the number of large pickups and R's in the US. That they in fact do not work. Please click subscribe if you enjoyed this video.